All right. Well, hello, everyone. We are here today at Chompies in Chandler. So I wanted to shout out and thank them for allowing us to use their conference room, party room, whatever we want to call it. They hold a lot of networking, networking meetings in this room. I used to hold one years and years ago in this room. So we really appreciate uh, their generosity in letting us use it. So I'm here today with a friend of mine, Christine. Some of you have probably seen Christine in, uh, uh, on the internet, uh, on Facebook, other social media. Uh, I just wanted to spend some time with you today, Christine, to get to know you a little bit, let the folks out there get to know you some. Talk about a couple of different things, okay. and we will see what we can get done here in the uh -oh. time that we have available. Usually, Rick, so, I'm the one that asks the questions, so I'm like sitting very eagerly yes. on my seat here. So. Yeah. Yeah. So th this this is kind of like for you old folks like myself. Uh, this is this is like uh, oh Johnny Carson's going to be on my show. <laughs> I get to interview him. <laughs> so thank you very much for uh, for coming today. Yes. Uh, th there's a, a couple of things, and I know some of these things could easily take the entire time that we have together. Uh, but uh, let's see if we can tackle some of them and let folks get to know just. Who Christine is. That's a very big topic. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, we got a limited time. But... We, we do. The, the good thing is that we'll, we will plug you in uh, in the comments and so on to other social media that you can see of Christine and uh, get to know her a little better. Personally, I do have an, a personal agenda here. <laughs> uh -oh. My agenda is uh, and, and I've told you this before, Christy, I, I would swear that you carry a professional photographer with you in your purse <laughs> <laughs> because I see your post and realize that now I realize that you do all of this yourself. You have a few things that you carry with you. You show up, you get an idea, you get an inspiration, you stop. It might be inside, it might be outside different settings um, and you have pictures that absolutely look like they were staged you just had to stand there and look beautiful Aww. and uh, a, a professional photographer you know did all of those those little last minute things <laughs> exactly <laughs> not really. like, oh no the glass so is not right really. here <laughs> and uh, and then started photographing and they are absolutely fabulous. And when you see them, I know that you're going to think probably the same thing. No, there's no way. I had a conversation just last night with somebody who had been a professional photographer talking about hiring a professional photographer to take some pictures for her. And she said, of course, you can't do that yourself. I said, you yes, haven't you met Christine. <laughs> yes, you can. I'm going to introduce you when you get back to Awatuki. So, um, so Christine, and I'll try and filter in a few of those posts okay. within the oh. video here. But tell me about that process, that, that creative bug that comes to you and what you carry with you and what you do. How do you do that in a way, if you can, that will help other people, other creators who are trying out there to brand themselves like you have done so, so very well. Um, how do you do that? What, what's, what are some of the high level secrets, if you don't mind, that you can share in order to make that happen? First of all, you're very kind with your words and I appreciate the compliments. And there's really no trick, but it's about my passion about life. And I do get impulsive a lot of the times. And you've already seen a couple of my behind the scenes, how I take pictures, how mm -hmm. I've actually helped us get set up here. I was like, oh, yes. I have that. Yes, I've got that with me. We have a light right over there. We do have a light. She just happened to have, because we've got some backlight here. <laughs> um, not every uh, situation is ideal. Not every setting is ideal. Um, and as far as my posts go, I have branded myself with my inspiration of meeting people and things that happen in our lives. And I know that if I can put that on word, put those words out there to someone, well, I'm also putting my face out there mm -hmm. to say, this is who I am because I'm branding myself for two reasons. This is me on the positive side, encouraging you through whatever I have experienced. And then also because of what I do on my podcast. Mm -hmm. um, 
because that's a branding too. I don't have like a logo that says this is me, but mm -hmm. this is me. We all walk yes. around with our face. There's your logo. Right? We are our own business card, right? Yes. You can't throw me away like we do those paper, <laughs> mark, paper cards do. We're all guilty together. We spend lots of money. Uh -huh. um, I thought about this yesterday because I knew we were going to be talking about this and I was trying to figure out how to put it into words. Mm -hmm. And I got inspired to go somewhere. Um, I had just picked up a pair of, actually it was a couple days ago. I love the color red, like Wonder Woman red. Mm -hmm. And I've always wanted a, a pair of red boots. Well, I had a pair of red boots many years ago and I wore them suckers out. They couldn't mm -hmm. even, they couldn't even redo the sole. I, I did such a good job of wearing them <laughs> shoes, right? And I had lost um, track of how I could find another one. So I found a pair of red boots. And then I was like, well, I want those boots to stand out. So I was like, where have I been that I can have them stand out? And where can I also go that will have a message with whatever the picture is that I'm going to give to everybody? Mm -hmm. And we hear all the time when we're trying to do something, slow down, baby steps. Yes. How many times have I heard that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I hated hearing that. <laughs> but like, hurry. <laughs> I want to run. I want to go. I want to do this. But you really do have to take steps in everything that we go through in life. Mm -hmm. Because if we were born with everything, then what's the purpose in life? You know, mm -hmm. We've got to go through the things whether we like them or not. Yes. We, we all can relate to that. And I happened to go somewhere that I knew was going to have red stairs. So like the equipment today, I threw them in my trunk in hopes that I was going to be able to take a photo. And where I went, I had auditioned for something, and then I was leaving, I was like, there's my red steps, there's my red boot moment, mm -hmm. and there's the steps that went with it. So yeah. I took a picture with my red boots on these red steps, and it had something about, you know, taking it each day at a time, walking mm -hmm. in, and all you can do is just take one step forward. forward. Yes. So there's a meaning behind all the things that I do. I wish I could say there isn't, but my brain is not wired that way. As you know me, my life has, um, has a significant difference. Um, and so I find ways to inspire other people. So if you're gonna take a picture, now I encourage you to take lots yes. of pictures, whether you like your picture taken or not, because that's a memory captured in time. Mm -hmm. And make it fun, make it, make it silly, make it fun, make it, make it yours, own it. Yes. I don't know if that answered your question, but sometimes being impulsive has some of the greatest opportunities, it does. especially for pictures. Yes, yeah, it, it, it does. And, and basically you've got one of those creative minds. It's just, you're not pulling out a canvas and paints and putting something on that canvas, but you're getting an idea, you're getting a thought in your head and that thought goes along with, and you're composing because you're taking different elements, the visual elements, the red shoes, the stairs. But I didn't tell you how many times I've had to retake, retake, retake. <laughs> <laughs> it's never on the first take. Yeah. My son, when we uh, take pictures, I'll say, I would take a picture. He's like, mama, you get one shot. Let me take the picture. I'm like, well, then I get two shots because if you take it because you're five, you're six foot three and I'm only five foot six or seven, I need to have it at the angle I need it to. So two shots, one for me, one for you. <laughs> so there's a lot of retakes. But sure. life doesn't have retakes. Mm -hmm. So yes, there's a lot of um, Absolutely. trial and error on photos. And I wanted to share with you when you talk about the secrets behind the camera. Sometimes a tripod is not in an area that you can use, mm -hmm. right? You can have the table ones, yes. You can have, I had the selfie stick. Yes. Who didn't have a selfie stick when they first came out? 20 bucks, I got me one or yeah. two, right? <laughs> so that, they get worn out. Um, you can get them at dollar, dollar stores now. <laughs> yeah, no, I, yeah, I know. And 20 bucks, I think it was then, was like, oh my gosh, that's expensive, but yes. I'm going to get it. Now we've got all these other great um, types of stands. Um, people have taken pictures like, oh, well, who's going to take our picture? We are. But there's no one else. And I said, we are. Yes. Now you get to see the behind the scenes. And I had yeah. something recently happen where there was about four of us in a photo, and there was no one to take the picture. I'm like, well, I'll take it. And I'm like, how many times, Rick? Do you have a picture that you had to have two pictures because you couldn't have everyone in it? Right. A lot. Yes. Well, I mastered that one because I was like, why do you need two pictures when you should have everybody in the picture? Yeah. You can use just about anything to hold your phone up. Mm -hmm. And there's a timer on our phone. Yes. So learn how to use your phone. So you might need to visit the store of your carrier. <laughs> 
and ask yes. them, how do I use this? Yes, 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 yes. Or if you're a master at it, you already know how to use all the different lighting mm -hmm. or this and that. I don't put filters on mine. Um, I, I haven't found the need to, mm -hmm. but there are the filters you can put on them, mm -hmm. not the ones to enhance your skin or your face, but ones that can enhance the color right. um, and or maybe blur out a background and yes. you want it to just to be you. There's so many great things you can use on your camera. Mm -hmm. And the timer is one of your best friends. Yes, absolutely. That way you don't have to take as many pictures. And and some cameras, I don't know if they still do or not, but I remember having a camera that all I had to do was say, smile. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Just like that. They it have motion like, sensors on mm -hmm. these now, too. We just yeah. set it up where you can go like this, and it'll wait for a second, and then they take the, yeah. it takes the picture. It's like a little delay. Right, yeah. But, yeah, you can set your phone up on anything. That timer is your best friend. And I do it face forward, facing me, so mm -hmm. that... Um, I can see what I look like in my picture. Sure. And there's one thing, and you and so I. So you put it in selfie mode. Yeah, you do yeah. put it in selfie mode, and yeah. it's okay to have selfies. Mm -hmm. It really is. Yes. Um, and you and I already experienced this. Just not this. in the bathroom with junk on your sink, okay, ladies? Oh, That's the like, lit please, up. yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> no, don't Train do your that. husband. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. There are there's yeah. Always think of the things that are going to be in your picture. So it's not about just you in the moment of the mm -hmm. picture. Think of what's the surrounding of your pictures too, because right. everyone critiques not only themselves in the photo, mm -hmm. but everyone else is critiquing yeah. what's behind you. Yes. Right? Yes. Yes. Sometimes they don't blur quite enough of the background. <laughs> no. Yes. Yes. no evidence in the picture. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you and I actually just did this with your laptop, getting set up with your two cameras and mm -hmm. the lighting is how much space, I see this often now say, mm -hmm. oh, we're going to take a selfie. Lower your camera so you don't have six feet above your head and you right. have everything here. And here's your little chin right here. Uh -huh. Like, but I'm in the picture. Yes. No, we want to see all of you or, yeah. or a lot of you, not the space above your head. Mm -hmm. Unless like you have something in the sky you're trying to capture at the same time. And then now you just got your eyes and everything else. Because I've seen those <laughs> too. Yes. Allow yourself enough space in the photo of what you're envisioning, not just for yourself, what everyone else is going to see. Mm-hmm. You don't have to do like me. We have inspirational words attached to your photo. But when you're taking a picture, make sure that whatever you're trying to capture is exactly in that frame. If it's not in the frame, it's not being taken. Mm -hmm. And how many times, I forget, forgive me, anybody, how many times have we asked someone, can you take our picture? And mm -hmm. you think they're going to take the picture you have envisioned in your mind. Yes. Then you get your camera back and you go, what were they what were they doing? What did they see? Yes. Nothing against them, but everyone has a different uh, perception of what they're taking. Right. A picture. Yes. And of. anybody can press a button. <laughs> Not everybody capture can compose the, a scene and capture A hundred percent. A hundred percent. So there's a lot of different things to consider when you're taking pictures. And I have had people ask me, why do you take so many pictures? Why not? Because here's the thing. I don't have very many pictures of myself as a child mm -hmm. because that was back then where they didn't take a lot of pictures. Right. Yeah. And you're just a few years older than me, so you understand this. But I have very few pictures. Mm -hmm. So I have lots of pictures. And then because my life changed, yes. I am grateful to have had those pictures that I, I now capture, that were captured in time. Or shall I say time was captured mm -hmm. with my loved one that I have those. So when you're telling someone, I'm going to lecture everybody right now. I don't care, and you shouldn't care if you're if you're not looking your best. Mm -hmm. Okay, you don't think it's an ideal background, except for the bathroom, of course. Yes, <laughs> find a different place to take that picture. <laughs> <laughs> the picture is going to be something that is going to be forever remembered when you're past. Yes. So when I take pictures, not of just myself, branding myself and my genuine heart, as you've known it, mm -hmm. I'm capturing everyone else in these pictures. It's for me mm -hmm. and for them. And I used to have people say, um, I don't need a picture. Uh huh. We'll wait till you ask me to tag you later. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I will. But if you ask me to send it to you like two days later and hope that I have my phone, sorry, I don't save them in my phone. Mm -hmm. But I do still print my pictures. I send okay. them to Walgreens. There's a shout out to Walgreens. Okay. I send them. I don't right. have a printer. It's expensive. It is. So it I is very expensive. I send them to expensive. Walgreens. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and there's a lot of great resources out there where you can send them. And you, oh my goodness, you can get them put on T-shirts. You can mm -hmm. have them put on cups. You can, you know, mm -hmm. million things you can do with these. So. And we know lots of people. We can give shout outs for that too. But then we'd have to charge them for this episode. Right. That's right. It's that's right. That's right. It's like 
What do you have the address for Walgreens? We'll go ahead and <laughs> hit them up. <laughs> I, yeah, definitely the one I go to. Yes. Um, well, you know that's that's great. And then, but then, here's one of the things that I think helps take it from a selfie. Oh, this this person is just really stuck on themselves, aren't they? To oh no, this was about me, and that's those great sayings that you put in there. Mm -hmm. And of course, you again, you can do that with your phone, mm -hmm. or you can do it with software on your computer. Mm -hmm. Again, you might need to visit your phone store. You might need an extra gadget or two. You can probably get them at the or dollar store. Or this younger generation. There's always going to be the younger generation because we were that younger generation. You get a new phone, you dread that you have to get a new phone, mm -hmm. and you just hand it over to one of our Gen X and yes. say, could you just get this all like in order, and then how do I use it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah, but Absolutely. yeah, go to your phone store. Yeah, go to your phone store, rent a teen. Rent a teen. <laughs> some, there might be some money in that one. There, there might be. I've often <laughs> thought, I've got to build an app. It's like, you know, how to connect with a teenager to help you with your phone. <laughs> sure. Who's close? <laughs> oh, this one's buzzing around the, the, the map right here. <laughs> we'll capture them. <laughs> mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, so somebody just got a billion dollar idea I know, out of this. I know. Yeah. So, and we'll probably see it being offered, you know, next commercial. <laughs> well, well, we'll take credit for it. We just won't get That's right. money. That's right. It. You but heard royalties. it here first. No royalties on that <laughs> yeah. one. So, but you put these sayings with it mm -hmm. and, that, and that really does mm -hmm. take it from being, oh, here's just a selfie to, you know, here's me, I'm branding myself and here's what I'm doing within the context of that brand. Mm -hmm. And here's something in words that go along with that. And so if you're out there, you're a creator and you're trying to brand yourself, or maybe you're not a creator, but you've got a mission, a purpose, a vision, then yeah, absolutely. You want to be doing that and your face, you know, you, it's okay to get a, a logo created, absolutely. but your face, remember that is an important part of your branding, mm -hmm. especially when the brand comes out. Let me give you a case in point. How many people, Harlan Sanders has been dead a long time. <laughs> And how many people recognize his image, even when it's just a cartoon? They know who that is. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's the Colonel. Mm -hmm. We get chicken there. Mm -hmm. All right. There's another one. We're going to have to hit up the Colonel, <laughs> hit up KFC. Uh, but we know that image, and so he, you know, he branded with that image. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's important to do. So just keep that in mind. One day you might have a company big enough that grows far enough from you that your face is no longer the face of the, the brand or the industry, but you can wait for that. It's like, go ahead and do those selfies for all intents and purposes, uh, but it's not just about you. It is about whatever that purpose, mission, mission and vision that you have are. And so, that's where we'll turn next, if that's okay with you. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So many things in our lives change because of something that an, a boss that I used to have, he would call them significant life-changing events. It might be anything. It might be you lose a parent, you just grow up. You know, I don't like growing uh, up. It's not working out. Yeah, no. it, <laughs> well, it is, but it it's isn't. Not. That whole Peter Pan thing is very, very attractive, isn't it? I know, not? I know. I want to fly. <laughs> yes, I would fly. <laughs> um, but uh, actually having those items in place, knowing what they are, are very, very important for you and what you're doing, and not just for Christine, for us, but let's talk a little bit about that. You, I know you had a very significant life-changing event and whether you want to address that now. But let's talk primarily to where I want to go is helping people establish. In fact, you're going to, you've got a vision in your head. You just told me a few minutes ago of doing something that really captures the essence. But mission, purpose, passion, vision. Can we spend a few minutes there? Yes, thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So this is your opportunity to tell 
So Before the Christine story. Because of the pictures, this is kind of where I'm at. Not kind of, I am in heaven for 16 and a half years. Although before the life-changing moment in my life happened, I've always appreciated everything in my life, always. But when you do have things that happen, you find a different vision in, in, about your life. Mm -hmm. um, so the photos capture a memory in time. And because of my change in my life, which I'll, I'll say in a moment, death changes everybody. Mm -hmm. By the way, no one is living forever. Okay. That's right. We're, We're all going to experience. No, everyone <laughs> is going to expire. Yes. At some point, and it's not a matter of how, which a lot of people get stuck on the fear of how, mm -hmm. versus when. Mm -hmm. If that made any sense, yes. I hope that it did. Um, so death changed me. What it has allowed me to do is to be reminded how precious time and life and memories are. So it goes back onto why I do the pictures. Now, my daughter Nicole, at the age of 17, my family and I were in a rollover auto accident on New Year's Day 2007. She did not survive. She was the biggest camera picture taker ever. Mm. That's what a teenager does, right? Yeah. Yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh, roll the eyes. Okay, mm -hmm. Nicole, how many pictures do you need to take? Yes. Now look at me. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so that's why I said death changed me. Mm -hmm. And it reminded me how precious life, time, and memories are. And I want that packaging of myself and what I just shared to hopefully resonate with anyone, anybody else. Again, we are not living forever. Mm -hmm. It's not a matter of how, it's a matter of when. I just shared how my daughter passed away, when she passed away, and what I do going back to the red boots and the steps, yes. is putting one step forward. Mm -hmm. My vision is to help other people find their passion through the things that that's happened in their lives. And some people have a significant change in their life, and some don't. Right. That's just how it works. Mm -hmm. Just like someone would say, oh, they're so lucky. Well, I don't know. Maybe that's what they're showing us. Mm -hmm. Because perception is everything. Yes, it is. Including social media, as we mm. all know. <laughs> yes. We're on it right now. Yeah. It's not about, and I want to stress this, somehow society has made us believe, or we've interpreted it as the more likes, the more comments, we mean something. No. You meant something before social media. Yes. Just Absolutely. social media has a different way of saying, you mean more, which turns into other things. Mm -hmm. That people will either be motivated by it, or it'll be in the negative. Right. That's there's always an opposite to everything, right? Yes. Salt and pepper, you know, snow, rain, whatever. Mm -hmm. However you want to look at how the water content is or the contents of life. Yes. And the situations of life. So my vision is to be able to help people see life through a different lens, no mm -hmm. pun intended. <laughs> the lens is our eyes. Yes. And for those who are blind, there's a different sensory that they're using. Mm -hmm. I hope that made sense. Perfect sense. Okay. Perfect sense. Because even even for blind people, the ones that I've had the pleasure of talking to, at least, mm -hmm. they still build pictures in their mind. Yes, they do. Uh, whether they've ever had sight yep. themselves or not, yep. they still build those pictures in your mind. And, and in some ways, and I've, I've known people who've done this, they've said, okay, for the next X amount of time, I'm going to be blind, and they'll put some kind of a mask on just so that they have to use the other senses and uh, hone their skills with those other senses. Yeah. Not just, not tripping over the coffee table, but the, the fact that, well, you now have to use words mm -hmm. to describe things and you have to build these pictures in your head. Mm -hmm. You have to do things without the benefit of what your eyes do for you. So that's that's quite an exercise. So imagine itself. if you will, only because on my show, Stories of Hope is a podcast, I interview different people and nonprofits. I'm actually gonna have a gentleman and his son, adult son, be on my show. His son was born blind. His father is the executive director of one of the blind schools here. Mm. Okay. Who's, who can see. Now you've got two different visions. 
someone who's never seen what we take for granted. Yes. And there's a gentleman I interviewed on my show uh, a year or so ago who lost his eyesight as an adult. Mm. Now, when you think about vision, there's a different perception of mm. vision. Yes. What we see and what about someone who's never seen or someone who did see and can no longer see. Yes. Let yeah. that sink in. Yeah. Yeah. So it goes back on time is precious and we take it for granted mm -hmm. and we take for granted what we're complaining about. Mm -hmm. But what about the people who don't have the ability that you're complaining about? They wish they had that ability. Oh yeah. Like seeing, yes, taking yes. photos. And I have to share with you on this one. We talked previous to this about back in the day, not that long ago, <laughs> where last week, I, right. <laughs> Camcorders. When they first came out, that big, heavy suitcase size, right? I was so proud to own one when I was back at that age, not that long ago. So proud to have it. One of the gentlemen that had lost his sight that was on my show, he had lost it as an adult. He was told as a teenager he had this particular disease in the eye that he was going to lose his vision by the time he graduated from high school. Mm. Well, you know, he's my age, not that old, not, our, not, not right. old, right? We're going to keep reminding <laughs> everyone that we're not old. Yes. <laughs> Experienced. And he still hopes that one day there's going to be the technology to where he'll be able to see, but he knows that that possibly won't. There's other, there is technology out there, but not the way that we see our vision. Mm. And he walked around with his kids doing their sports with this camcorder. And the family thinks it's funny because he didn't know what he was capturing when he was using this camcorder. Mm. But again, his day will come and that's going to be a memory to laugh about. Yes. But he had a vision that he didn't have the vision mm -hmm. to still capture these memories of his kids. Wow. There's a life lesson in this yeah. one today. Absolutely. Absolutely. So take pictures. Don't take anything for granted. And whatever vision you have in your life, do it for you with the knowing that what you're doing now will be someone else's memory of you. Yes. Whatever oh, it is. Oh, that's a good message. Mm -hmm. I like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. mm. Did I cover all of those? Yes. Yeah, I think, I think you got it. I think we understand what your mission is. So, Christine, where can people see more of you? You've mentioned this podcast that you have. Where can we find that? So I have a brand new platform, season two, with a whole different image of what I've been doing all along. We've got seasons. So <laughs> season, I, well, that's what the media thing does. You know, I have a wonderful team at the Motivated Mind Group studio in downtown Chandler. Okay. Who ad Commercial. <laughs> adopted me. <laughs> Shout out to them. They, I wouldn't be where I'm at if they didn't see my vision. I've been doing it like you. You, you went portable, mm -hmm. mobile, to interview people. And I don't have to do that. Someone saw what I was doing and said, I invest in you. I see your vision. And so they make me look really good. No filters, but they make me look really yes. good. By the way, they put my content together. And that means my new platforms, all the platforms you can find me on Stories of Hope AZ. Look it up and you'll find me. Okay. Just Stories like of Hope AZ. AZ. Mm -hmm. For Arizona, but it's AZ. And you'll find the beautiful new YouTube page. You'll find me on Instagram and, oh my gosh, I was going to stop this particular um, app called TikTok, <laughs> but now I'm on TikTok. I'm on it. I can't stop. I don't, have to, I don't have to upload it. I have a wonderful team that does it for me. And so, yeah, you'll find it on Spotify. You'll find it on iHeart. Just look it up and mm -hmm. wherever you get your media or whatever, you can even find me on Instagram. Mm -hmm. You can find me on Facebook. You can actually see me on my personal page if you want to as well. And that's Christine Hotchkiss. Okay. Yeah. Christine Hotchkiss. Some people might have trouble with that last name. Can you spell it for us? H O T C H K I S S. Very unique. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. A unique name. It was a name when I was a kid. As you know, kids are very mean mm -hmm. and say, oh, what's up, Hotchkiss? I'm like, really? <laughs> now, as an adult, well. <laughs> yeah. I think of MASH whenever I think of you. Oh. Hot lips. <laughs> See? <laughs> so I'm not going to brand that one, but I have branded Hotchkiss. <laughs> that was my birth name, my birth name. So, okay. yeah. <laughs> All right. What's well, a great name? Where did that name come from? Do you know? I think the origin is German and French somewhere. I actually tried okay. to look it up the other day and I got, I lost track because I was 
squirrel moment. Yeah. Because I wanted to know also. But yeah, I think it's French, German, something like that. Okay. Yeah, right. but I'm from the Midwest. All right. Shout out to the Midwest family. There you go. Yeah. All right. Great. Great. Well, Christine, thank you so much for meeting with me today, for talking to the folks out here, letting them know about your story. I really appreciate, I mean, just from the technical perspective, I hope that all of you are out there remembering, go ahead and take some selfies, go ahead and do it for you. Yeah. But those things will indeed become memories. We were just talking about some people who absolutely do not like to have their picture taken and you get these half smiles or we smirks. Know, we know a few of those. We know a few of I'm those. Like, but my you hair's know? not great. Well, you're not going to look at that later. Yeah. Loosen up. Whatever you're, whatever you're snapping a picture of or what, whoever is snapping a picture of you, they're creating a memory for their self as well as for other people. So don't take it away from them. That's their exactly. memory. Exactly. Don't take it away. And that was, that was the message that I wanted to get across in that is that, you know, you might look at it as, oh, pictures of me. I'm just being self-centered. No, no. You're thinking of other people because at some point in time, as you so vividly pointed out, you don't know when your time is. And when that time comes, those folks that are around you, that loved you, that spent their lives with you, are going to want to remember you. And how are they going to do that without those great photographs? So do you remember this one, you know, where mom had that funny look or, she, you know, the, this time that we spent together? Those are important moments. Mm -hmm. But again, for you creators, if you're out there, just just have that camera ready. That should be one of the most ready things that you have and find those moments of inspiration you might have to have some kind of a notepad or my gosh these phones that we have have the ability to take notes you can make a note i text myself everyone knows this now i text myself all Tip. day long because yeah. i don't have that pad of paper sometimes mm -hmm. you don't yeah. but we have our texting capability or that yeah. note app in there yeah. and i will do that all day long yes. i gotta remember this I, oh i want to put this in a picture or oh so definitely use that yeah, too. Yeah, look up second brain. You'll be amazed <laughs> at the, the things that you'll get and the ways that you can use the technology that we have available to capture thoughts, capture moments. And uh, so that's important too. So capture the pictures, capture the images, take some time mm -hmm. to think about the image you're about to take. You know, we came into this room and seen the beautiful fireplace and started composing together the, mm -hmm. the things that we wanted in the image. Mm -hmm. So uh, think about that. What's in your background? Do you need to set a blur filter mm -hmm. and only capture the faces? Or you know, what is it you need to do to make this the perfect photo for that inspirational thought that you got? Can I give you a tip yes, real fast? please do. When you talked about picture or photo, mm -hmm. if you look in your phone, there's all the different ways. You know, you can take landscape, portrait, picture, when you use the portrait versus the picture, mm -hmm. that actually blurs out the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I, definitely I'm, look into all the different features you yes. have on your phone. Yeah, absolutely. That's important. Know the features, the photographic features, especially because they are amazing. It's, I don't even know how to use all of them. Oh yeah, absolutely. I don't know either. There's... I've mastered how to set my phone somewhere and prop it mm -hmm. when I don't have the ability to bring in or forgot my my tripod or my selfie right. stick. You yeah, know, you get yeah. creative. And like you said, yeah, I mean, you might be in a situation where uh, you know most tripods do have three legs, so they can go almost anywhere. Well, you don't but... to carry those big things around all yes, day long. Yes, yes, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. So if you're climbing up a rock or something, you decide you need to <laughs> uh, to take a, a photo. Find a rock you can prop the phone against and set the timer and then get behind it. You can do all of the things you'd normally do. Any other tips that you got? Just those last moment things. I, I always like the ones where you kind of lean on one elbow and you kind of come in. You don't want to come in too far. You know? So that's always. So this is a girl, girl okay. ladies. All right. We're not all. I don't know about men. I can only speak for me as a female. Mm -hmm. There are certain angles that we don't want to be seen. And a lot of women will not take a full body shot picture. But you can confidently take a picture of yourself 
just kind of lean into something, like you said, like this. Mm -hmm. Your body can be at a certain angle mm -hmm. that shows you not like, I'm going to say this, don't ever take, if you're a full framed individual, you don't want to take a head on picture. Mm -hmm. You also don't want to be the picture that you're on each end because mm -hmm. then you look larger because of the mm -hmm. way the lens is on the camera. Mm -hmm. So you don't want to be the, the, no one's going to want to take pictures now. They're like, I'm not sitting on, I'm not going to be on the end of the page, picture because <laughs> I'm going to look bigger than I already feel I am. But there are angles that you can manipulate for the camera mm -hmm. to have the best view of yourself. Sure. Yeah. You've heard so don't of taking, get discouraged. get my good side. <laughs> we all have one. Yes, we do. Which means we might have a bad side too. Oh my goodness. <laughs> but yeah, know. figure out what that is uh -huh. and then use it. Mm -hmm. Use that to your advantage, especially if you're branding, you're a creator, you want to do that. And here's what I found. I've lived during the times where the biggest fear was I was going to run out of film before I got all of the shots I want. And I was very strategic about what pictures I would take. And my favorite joke now is, hey, don't use up the whole roll. The 35 millimeter, <laughs> the, exactly. the 110. The 12 shots, the 24 <laughs> shots, the 36 right. shots. Wait a minute, I gotta put new film in. Yes, it's like, yes. And you hear that as it rewinds. <laughs> all right, so good. Well, we've, uh, we've now told everybody how old I am. And so, uh, Christine, thank you so much once again for being here today. And I know you've got some other things that you have to get off to, so we're going to let you do that. But really appreciate you coming in. Christine Hotchkiss, Stories of Hope, AZ, go out and visit. You've probably heard a few other things that uh, will be in the notes along with the videos here that you can go visit. So check out some of Christine's post. I think you'll find her vision about how she posts, what she posts, and the way she's able to take those pictures. And could, it, could we just see in your purse to make sure there's not really a photographer in there? <laughs> That'd be a very large purse. <laughs> That's a very large purse. But I do want to give one thing. If anyone has a takeaway from yes. any of this, mm -hmm. even if you are you feel like you're challenged about figuring out how to use the uh, I, your, your phone for mm -hmm. the picture apps or what have you. Don't allow yourself to think that you're not worth being in a picture and don't take that memory from someone else who wants to take your picture. Yes. Life is precious. Time is valuable and it's not endless, but a photo is. Yes. That's one of my quotes. I'll find a, I'll find a spot today somewhere to put that on. <laughs> oh, oh, okay, great. With a good photo, I'm sure. I'll have to think about that one. Yeah, but yes. yeah, good, good. And, and if it comes out in time, I will try and include it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for right. asking me to even be here. I've watched your stuff. I see your content. And when you asked me, I said, "How do I fall into this category?" So thank you. <laughs> thank you very much. Appreciate yes. it. It was a pleasure. Good. Everyone, have a fantastic day. Be blessed. We'll talk to you soon.